We're demonstrating our AutoComp software today by using a bloom probe to measure the part, measure three features on the part, and then the probe data is automatically extracted to AutoComp. So we're going to demonstrate that process and then how AutoComp takes the data from the probe, automatically calculates correct offset adjustment, and offsets the tools automatically. So the probe is coming in to measure the three features now. It measures a bore. It measures a radius using just a three-point touch. And then also measures the width of a diameter. Once the probe is finished measuring the part, and automatically imports it into AutoComp. Once the data is imported into AutoComp, AutoComp will evaluate each dimension using the tolerance limits, the compensation limits, and the nominal value of the part. It will calculate the correct adjustment for the tool. Once adjustment is calculated, it automatically sends the adjustment directly to the tool offset without any operator intervention. The other feature is that it's tracking how much adjustment is being made to each tool. At a certain limit, the system will automatically expire the tool because the adjustment amount has achieved or reached the total limit that was set by the user. So the part view feature is another great feature of AutoComp that allows a visualization of the dimensions on the part. Once the dimensions come in from the measure device, in this case the touch probe, the dimensions are automatically updated. And the color of the update uh, screen indicates the actual status of each of those dimensions. A green means the part is good and did not require compensation. The yellow means the part was still good but required compensation. Any red indication means that that part has a rejected dimension on it. So it's a very quick view for anybody to come by and see exactly what's going on with the dimensions of the parts. So one of the greatest benefits of AutoComp is that the dimensions are set automatically. So once AutoComp calculates the dimension, it automatically changes the tool offsets to compensate that tool to correct for the future parts that are coming. The greatest part of this is there is no human involved. So whether it's a manual run operation or you're using AutoComp in an automated cell where it's only a robot, the system handles all the data adjustments automatically.